For nearly three years, many in the transportation industry have been lobbying to make hair testing an approved drug testing method for drivers because it offers a much longer window of detection. Now we know why it's been taking so long to implement this change. The Department of Health and Human Services, along with its sub-agency SAMHSA, sent a report to Congress saying the delay is because of, quote, unresolved scientific issues with the testing. The report claims that both natural hair color and hair treatments can affect how much of certain drugs get into the hair. Bleaching, straightening, and vigorous washing and brushing could also decrease the concentration of drugs present in the hair samples. There are also questions as to whether race plays a role in what hair holds on to or even absorbs from the environment. Congress wanted the new rule in place by December of 2016, but the proposal is still under review by the White House Office of Management and Budget. As soon as the OMB gives the thumbs up, the rule will be published, and the Department of Transportation must formally adopt the changes for all safety-sensitive employees. Join us again tomorrow for more screening news.